Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about a bunch of things in C++ that matter quite a lot like uh, semicolons and white space and uh, identifiers and keywords and comments. So I've got a file opened up here. It's called uh, comments. It has the extension .cpp because it's a C++ file and then on line number 5 in this file I have the main function declaration. I'm expecting main to return an integer value that's why I have the return statement on line number 20 and then on line number 6 I have the opening curly brace for main. On line number 21 I have the closing curly brace and in between the curly braces I have uh, you know bunch of statements. Uh, there are a lot of things that I'm trying to do here. I'm creating variables and uh, then I'm assigning values to the variables. I have uh, the C out operation operator on line number 11 to push some text to the screen and then I'm also performing some arithmetic operations and there are some comments so there are a lot of things that are uh, happening here and it's okay if you don't understand all of this uh, I'm going to discuss all these things in in great detail in future videos uh, but there are some things that I need to highlight so that's why you know I have all this code uh, the significance of uh, the semicolon character for instance I mentioned in the previous video that you need to put a semicolon at the end of each and every executable statement in your uh, C++ code uh, that's very important and uh, you know if you've got 10 lines of code and you miss the semicolon at line number 3 um, it's it's not going to run the program it's just going to return an error so you need to be very careful about this and just develop a habit of putting a semicolon uh, you know as soon as you move to a new line of code uh, start a new statement or an expression uh, C++ also ignores white space at most places so for instance these are three executable statements and you know I can have all of them on the same line it it it's not going to put C++ off it still will be able to understand that these are three different statements because I have the semicolon you know uh, at, at the right place so uh, integer a is equal to 5 that's one statement integer b is equal to a that's another statement and a is updated with the value in a plus 10 that's the third statement so uh, three statements can be present on the same line you can have like 50 statements on the same line it's not going to uh, result into errors but it makes uh, sense to have different expressions statements on different lines because it makes it easier for the guys uh, who are reading your code to figure out what's happening otherwise if you have a long sentence a long expression then people just you know uh, have to work very hard to spot the semicolons and break your expressions down into smaller chunks that can be understood so yeah you should uh, try to put things on different lines wherever possible but if you also want to wrap things tightly then uh, that's totally cool C++ doesn't have a problem with that uh, also you can have multi-line comments in C++ as well as single line comments and the syntax is pretty much the same as it is in most other programming languages so you start a multi-line comment using the character combination forward slash and an asterisk so on line number 15 for instance I have a forward slash followed by the asterisk symbol and then uh, a multi-line comment. This is a multi-line comment. It can span like several lines. And then in order to terminate a multi-line comment, you need to use the same characters but in reverse order. So you start with slash and asterisk, but you end with asterisk and slash, right? Just remember that. And uh, if you want to use single line comments, then you can do that by just you know typing two slashes uh, consecutively so uh, on line number 19 I have a single line comment it's actually this is a single line comment that's the text that it has um, what else uh, keywords and identifiers so uh, an identifier in C++ is a name that you give to your variable or if you have classes or functions in your code then the names that you assign to those things are called identifiers right because they identify uh, the objects that you're working with or the variables that you're working with or the classes that you're working with so there are certain rules that you have to follow while naming your variables or 
creating identifiers uh, the rule that you need to uh, remember the most is that you cannot have punctuation marks or special characters in in your variable name so you cannot use the ampersand symbol or the percentage symbol or the dollar symbol or the at the rate symbol in your uh, uh, variable names you know some of the other programming languages like PHP and Perl for instance would let you do that but in C++ that's not allowed uh, also you need to start your identifiers with either a lowercase alphabet or an uppercase alphabet or an underscore you can also have an underscore as the first character of your uh, identifier so you know instead of a here I could have underscore a and it would just be fine but uh, I would suggest have descriptive variable names so if you're storing an integer value for instance you could have a variable called mind unless it's supposed to serve a specific purpose like if you're going to use it uh, as you know to store uh, round or whole number you know uh, that reflects the exchange rate between currencies then it makes sense to call it exchange underscore rate you know have explanatory variable names instead of using uh, names like a b x y z because people are not going to understand you know this is very general code right it, it's it's not for any purpose so that's why i have names like a and b but otherwise when i usually write code uh, uh, for a project I try to make sure that the variable names are such that people can infer from the code by just you know reading through the code they, they should be able to understand what's going on uh, also uh, there are certain words that are reserved in C++ and you cannot use those words as, as names for your variables and those words are called keywords so main for instance is a keyword right or using is a keyword or for or if or else or while and you know there is uh, uh, a very exhaustive list of keywords in C++ uh, you can find that list uh, by searching for C++ keywords online and actually I, I look for a list and I'll try to share the link uh, to C++ keywords list in the video description section below so you can browse through the list uh, that that's pretty much it um, you know let me just run this program and show you the output before uh, signing off uh, I'll go to build and then click on build and run and there you go you see that the value of a is 15 and value of b is 5 that's the output that the program was supposed to generate uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm creating an integer variable a and I'm storing the value of 5 in it right so a variable is, is basically a location and memory in which you can store some stuff uh, so here I'm storing the number 5 in this variable that's called small a uh, and then I'm copying the value of a to another integer which is called B and I'm updating the value of a to whatever is originally present in it plus 10 so that's why a gets the value 15 and then I have the C out operator I'm first displaying the text value of a a colon space and then I'm showing the actual value of a which is 15 and then I have a space here so uh, you know there's going to be a space between 15 and the letter capital V uh, for uh, this particular sentence value of B colon space and then the actual value of B which is 5 I'm also updating the value of B here on line number 13 but then since the C out statement uh, on line number 11 is before the the update statement uh, we only see the updated value for A and not for B right uh, also C++ is case sensitive which means that if you're going to create a variable called small a or lowercase a you cannot reference it using capital A so if I'm going to change small a here to capital A and if I'm going to try to run the program it's going to result into an error right because I'm trying to use a variable access a variable that I haven't created uh, before using it so uh, you need to change this back to small a and then if you go to build and build and run you'll be able to see the output value of a is 15 and value of b is 5 so that's it for this video I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you in the next tutorial till then take care